I figured a lot of you would rather watch a video update than um, read everything, so I'll just share a little bit about what we've been doing. Um, our family made it to Kona, woo woo! So we've been here for a little over a month now, and God has been opening up doors. It's been a wild adventure. Um, we get off this plane, and we just get struck with this heat, and we move into our apartment and uh, realize that we didn't have air conditioning, and so we acclimated extremely quickly, which was such a blessing. And then um, I uh, we went down to the campus and um, got Hunter plugged in school, um, and Lindsay is a, I'm a part-time teacher in that school and um, uh, it's been incredible to, to, to connect with all these other families that are doing missions. Um, in the meantime, I was invited to be the project lead um, from YWAM Kona to go into Papua New Guinea. Um, and so our goal is to see 100,000 Bibles get uh, tracked and distributed in our, in our focus areas over there. Um, but also there's 272 languages that don't even have access to God's Word. They have not been translated into the, the Word of God yet. So I really want to see um, that moving forward. So I'm, I'm going around and getting people excited on board, um, but we're also going to be sending more and more teams um, into PNG. And we want to see not what just YOM Kona or different YOM bases, but what can the body of Christ do to impact um, Papua New Guinea. And so we're, we're now collaborating with multiple organizations and also multiple YWAM bases around the world. And we're putting together this big force um, with a team called Global Initiatives, um, where we're going to see uh, just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people impacting Papua New Guinea on a whole nother level. And I'm so just blessed and honored to lead out in this. And so I'm recruiting a team um, of people to help work with me um, to see uh, thousands of Bibles and thousands of lives changed in Papua New Guinea. Because I believe that once they have the word of God, um, and they're going to just be so excited about who they are in Christ, what Jesus did on the cross. And I see Papua New Guinea just just rushing over into West Papua and in and Indonesia and just influencing them in, in crazy radical ways. And so I'm really excited because I believe there's about to be a move of God in the nation of Papua New Guinea. And so let's believe for 100,000 Bibles for the year of 2020 and a million Bibles distributed by the year of 2025 um, as we're going to see people's lives change as they get the word of God. I also just want to invite you, Hawaii is way more expensive than we thought it would be, and so we're not currently able to um, cover all of our expenses. We're still uh, complete missionaries funding our, ourselves, and so we wanted to invite um, our supporters to pray and um, and to see if, if they wanted to increase their support or if they know other people that would like to join our support team. We're believing God for about another $1,000 a month, and um, we really want to be able to focus full-time on this Papua New Guinea thing as uh, this is bigger than uh, something we've ever stepped in before, but we're really excited to see what God's going to do, um, starting with some awesome goals for 2020 and seeing what God's going to open up uh, for the years in the future. Thank you so much for praying for us. You guys are all amazing. Feel free to reply to this email um, and we'll give you some more info. Bless you.